Hello everybody, Ministorm here. Welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. In the last episode, we continued our exploration of Frostback Basin. Uh, just kind of wandering around, uh, establishing the camps, to closing Fade Rifts, all kinds of those things. But now we're over here um, where the, at least the beginning of the story quests are. And what I've gone ahead and decided to do is that we're going to just focus on getting the story quests done in this DLC. I mean, I'm not going to worry too much about the side quests unless they're kind of like convenient and right there. And we're not really going to worry about closing Fade Rifts unless they're in our way. So, we're going to kind of change gears a little bit here. So, let's go ahead and head over and see if we can find Colette, which... Um, Kenrick's research assistant Colette is left to survey to Vinter Ruins. Her findings could offer historical insight into the basin's past. So that is what we are going to go ahead and do. I'm not sure if this is part of the main story or not. But we're going to go check it out. Good place to get ambushed. Watch your back. At least it's not too dry. Over there. He's not fighting those off alone. Alright, we'll, we'll get out of that for... Uh, in a Let's grab their loot. And then let's hit this landmark here. And then we'll talk to her. Bloodstained Shrine. We took steps to avoid the Hakonites and they stayed out of their way for the most part. It would have gone uneventful had Pierce's inexperience not caused him to leave visible prints in the dirt. The jaws of Hacken use them to track us, and even Volker cannot throw them off the trail. Persistent bastards. We ended up hiding amidst the moldy corpses and sun-bleached bones that littered the ground around a strange shrine. It was carved of stone and capped what looked like a, to be a dragon skull. Thankfully, when the Hackenites traced us to the shrine, the sight of it made them stop short. They whispered amongst themselves, and their leader seemed to make a small bow of obeisance to the skull, and they abandoned the chase. We still don't know what it was about that shrine that made the Hakonites balk. Perhaps we don't want to know. Alright, let's go ahead and talk to... Colette? Inquisitor. Still finding it difficult to breathe. But I'm not strewn across the landscape. So thank you. I'm Colette. Professor Kenrick's research assistant. I was hoping to conduct a survey of a Tavinter ruin in the hills. I may not have chosen the best route. You study with Kenrick? You're Kenrick's research assistant, so that makes you a student at the University of Orlais. It does? Why? Uh... You're an elf. That's unusual. Orlesian institutions aren't always accepting of elves. So the glances and loud whispers remind me. The university accepts those worthy of admission, though elven students are few. Do you like it? How did you find it there? It's not easy, but this is what I want. And I like working for Professor Kenrick. Elven research students, where publications concerned, their works often deemed not substantial enough for formal credit. But Kenrick cares about people who want to learn. If our research finds an audience, I know my name will be included. Alright, well tell me about this ruin. What were you hoping to find at the ruin? The Tevinter's time here was brief, but their architecture endured, offering shelter, forming landmarks. Ancient Avar would have encountered these structures, which certainly predate Inquisitor Emeridan. Evaluating the ruins could offer insight into the region's history, once I can get set up. You're still going there? I've read everything we have on Ameridan, and studied up on new excavation techniques. I won't waste this opportunity. If you've a map, I can show you my destination. 
If you would be interested in the findings. Oh, okay. Stay safe. I will. We collect at the Deventer Ruins, which are over there. Okay, we can proceed in that direction. Pretty rough terrain. <laughs> All right, somehow I have to get up there. I don't think this is the way. Hmm. Let's head the other direction and see what we find. Exactly sure how to get there. Well, here's a cave. Let's check it out. Well, we can't. It's barred from the other side. We have hostiles. Take out that archer. down. Down, there it goes. Now, what is this? Just a bit of a ravine there. Nothing of any real interest. There's a fade rift. <laughs> OK. 
Okay, I'm just a little lost. Oh wait, is there a ramp this way? Yes, there is. Okay, there was a switch back. I missed it. your weapon after the last fight? Uh, no. Odds are we're going to be killing something again in a few minutes. Besides, the bloodstains are good for scaring enemies. They see a big, messy blade, and they... You know... Uh, uh, I'll go clean it. Thank you, darling. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> That apparently didn't work. I don't know what it's for. But I'm sure we'll find out eventually. Knights. Let's deal with them. It's up there. Hi, guys. There is a landmark here somewhere. There it is. Oh, there's still a hostile target. The gate remains frozen even at the height of summer. A piece of ice chiseled from the hole remained unmelted in a bucket of warm water, even withstanding the heat of burning embers. I have never seen such magic. Our Avar guide, Ragnar, will tell me nothing about what lies beyond the frozen wall. I have exhausted all possibilities and shall have to accept that I will never pass beyond that gate. I have retained the piece of ice for my own use. Its properties make it perfect for chilling my cider on hot days. I shall take pleasure in this and try not to fixate on my unsated curiosity. From the travel journals of Sir Nigel, Explorer and Knight. That would be pretty handy. That wall is massive. Who is it meant to keep out? Everyone, darling. It is Tevinta, after all. 
Hmm. Interesting. And it looks like that bull has a level up. Uh, Two-handed weapon. That's done. Guess we'll go with Battle Master. Alright, let's proceed. And it looks like I am going to have to go through that Fade Rift. Bad. A few more here. Spell that one. Couple of rage demons. Oh, one of those things. Oh, two of them, at least. Close it up. There's that lever that didn't do anything down there. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Well, let me just check around in here a little bit more. Just make sure I didn't miss anything. I don't think I did. Hmm. 
Ah, a bag of loot. Guess I can take that. Hmm. I think I'm missing something here. Cause there's like a lock icon there? I always could just be in a place I'm not supposed to be yet. I should probably just proceed on to our target and uh, worry about this stuff later. It'll probably come up at some point. Climb back up there, just a moment. Alright, we're back all the way up here. Actually, you know what? I should be doing this. Are these the Tevinter ruins in question? It appears that they are. Alright, let's dismount. Explore on foot. Alright, Nigel's Point. I absolutely cannot wait to survey and explore Nigel's Point. This was one of the ruins the explorers Sir Nigel visited on his travels to the Frostbacks. So much of what I've learned of this region comes from his notes and sketches. It's appalling to me how little recognition he's received compared to that brother Genitivi or even that peddler Pabulum Philium? Or Philium? A bard. I wonder if I could discover the original purpose of Nigel's Point. This ancient Deventer name, of course, has been lost, but I am certain it was built and dedicated to an old god. I wonder which one. If I could learn this, of course, Harding gives me a severe look every time I suggest I should could just stroll over one morning. She insists it's too dangerous. She worries too much. From Colette's research journal. I'm looking there, and it looks like Blackwall has a level up. Let's just make sure. Champion, Vanguard... Weapon and shield. Let's fill this out. Bear mauls the wolves. Using technique preferred by Elysian Chevaliers. You can't be flanked by enemies and you're less likely to be staggered when hit from the front. Barely legible to Vinter writing. Scratch onto the stone in an unsteady scrawl. Run if you can. Madness has filled the silence. Do not return to this place. 
Well, that's not foreboding. To Vinter Inscription, to she who wine, winds the skein of wisdom, we dedicate this citadel. Dragon of mystery, bestow upon your faithful servants your ineffable truth. Grant us eyes to pierce the darkness and souls to bear the wounds of your labyrinth. to say the hunt of the fell wolf the runner strode the winding road and out of breath came she upon the bastion of the huntsman true to make her desperate plea a meriden and dragon's hide heron clad in blessed steel came forth to hear the tidings brought with so much breathless zeal upon the lonely moors the runner cried okay this is just a very long poem okay Almost completely faded, but two stood, felt sixty true before our triumph. A breath in the hunt, and let rest the lowlanders, worthy of the lady's care. The markings and surrounding artifacts date to Ameridan's time. The references and scripts suggest Avar. Go on. What's your theory? I need to complete a full survey and have Professor Kenrick evaluate the site himself. But this may be a tribute to Heron and Orina, Inquisitor and Meriden's companions. All right. Let's see what happened here. What happened here? An encounter with ancient Avar, and not a friendly one. A Meriden and his companions were outnumbered in an unfamiliar place. If a Meriden's not here. Perhaps someone bought him the time needed to keep going? The Avar paid respect. If this is the resting place of Haran and Arina, it only remains because the Avar took time to honor them. Respect for a worthy adversary? It wouldn't be out of place. How do you know it's them? What makes you think the inscription refers to Haran and Arina? It's only a theory, but the age of the markings and surrounding artifacts match the timeline we've established for Ameridan. I found glass fragments in the clay, several with slight veins of discoloration. Blue. Like Templar artifacts. Templars? The Templars were a new order in Emeridan's time. Given their small numbers then, few would be found outside the Chantry's reach. It's unusual to find one deep in uncharted territory, unless he traveled here for a purpose, as Heron would have. What about Ameridan himself? You don't think the inscription could refer to Ameridan himself? It's possible. But Ameridan would have been recognized as a leader, which the inscription might have noted out of respect. And a breath in the hunt? Why note that your hunt continues unless your remaining prey was someone important? Tell me about Heron. What do you know about Heron? When the Templar Order was first formed, Sir Heron was among its members. He's arguably the most famous of the original Templars, though he was never one of their leaders. He's better known as one of Inquisitor Ameridan's confidants. They'd known each other since youth. Friends, then. So they were close. Friends. When Ameridan was made Inquisitor, Heron's position in his inner circle was assumed. A few ballads about them survive. The type with adventures and happy endings. <laughs> I don't know if they're true. They remind me of my brothers, though. Uh, tell me about Arena. What can you tell me about Arena? Arena was an alchemist in Orzammar. It's said she met a Meriden while dealing with a demon, but it's not known why a Meriden was there. Demons aren't common in the Deep Roads, but they were a problem for the Inquisition at the time. Arena knew she could help, so she joined a Meriden. Was she exiled? If she left Orzammar, that would make her a surfacer. She turned her back on the stone, though it's said she had few regrets. 
Some claim she was actually from one of Orzammar's noble families, but who can say? She never used her last name on the surface, and once exiled, the family likely struck her name from personal documents. Professor Kenrick petitioned Orzammar's Shaperit to grant access to their records, but the request was turned down. Ah, uh, what will you do now? What will you do with this information? Professor Kenrick will expect detailed notes on the location, stone and clay samples, and any trace artifacts I can find. If Ameridan's history is compiled, this could be worth an entire chapter. I might get credit on the inside cover. All right. Thank you, Colette. Inquisitor. Collects notes. A series of detailed drawings of the inscription, glass shards, and surrounding area followed by a handful of neatly written notes. Two stood, felled sixty true before our triumph. A breath in the hunt and let rest a lowlanders worthy of the lady's care. Inscription discovered in the Devinter room within Frostbake Basin, not Devinter in origin, script style and surrounding symbolism marked text as a var. Right not widespread and holds. Place marked by a leader or augur. Few lowlanders known to be in area at the time. Glass in area likely means Templar presence, long past. Samples prepared for Professor Kenrick's opinion. That's basically what you just said. Alright, so we now need to head on... I think this one, making contact with the Avar hold to the east can provide the English with useful allies. And then, not sure what that is. A mysterious island in Frostback Basin may yield clues to the region's past. We may also want to head there. So we'll head back to the swamp side camp. So we're back at the swamp side camp. There's something just north of here. Oh, it was the bloodstained shrine. I I don't know why it was still marked with a question mark. I mean, we discovered it and marked it. All right, I think we're going to need to head south. I'm going to head over this island. But it means that this fade rift over here needs to go. Hazard navigation for a while we should try to spray. Pride Demon is like coming straight at me. Probably would have draw it back. Oh, I'll engage it at maximum range and so I don't want to get too far away from the actual rift itself. If 
Five targets. Three despair demons. One's down. Spell that one shield. one kicking around. I should disable it for a second. There we go. Alright, that fade rift is closed. So we'll probably make for that island to see what's down there. Uh, next episode, because we're kind of getting a little bit long here. All right, so hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.